Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And um, this in this quick video, I'm going to show you um, a quick setup to utilize the um, auto fixture removal features that's available in Keysight VNA Factor Network Analyzer. And if you're interested to know more about um, AFR, um, uh, I have put some link um, in the description box, and you can just click there. And it should be guiding you to the right uh, informations. And uh, so what you're seeing right now is um, I'm connecting it to a P5008A USB VNA. And this is my setup. So I have a P5008 uh, USB VNA, and I'm using uh, port 1. And this is my cable. The blue is my cable, and this is my cal plane. So FR, it was designed for a um, situation where you can um, manufacture a good cow kit, such as um, the PCB board. Um, so in my case, I do not have the PCB board, and uh, I, I'm replacing the PCB board with a cable. So assuming that this cable is about one meter uh, cable, um, and uh, it's used as the the trace on the PCB. So the cow plane, I want to move it from part one to the end of it. So according to the guide, uh, the help file in this USB VNA, um, it's recommended to calibrate um, to the part first. In our case, it's part one. And if you have, um, um, in future, you, if you plan to um, uh, connect a PCB right after the cable, then it's recommended to calibrate um, up to the cable using the e cal or um, mechanical cal. But for our case, uh, we're assuming that this blue line is part of the PCB board, so we, um, we just assume that the part one is where it's supposed to be calibrated. But in my case, um, I do not have an e cal or a mechanical cal, so let's uh, just assume that it's calibrated for part one. So um, before going to auto fixture removal, there's another thing that I want to show you is called uh, port extension. So what does it do? Um, back in the days, um, especially like um, for those uh, old PNAX, um, you remember the four colorful buttons, um, and also the uh, fuel fox. So we do not have uh, auto port extension at the time. So we normally what we do is that uh, we just go to power extensions and then change value here until we meet a good uh, open port. So how do we do that? Let's go back here. Let's preset everything. Um, just make sure that uh, I have nothing uh, set up previously uh, that is still there. Okay, first of all, I want to set uh, the frequency. Um, so instead of going up to 50 gig, um, just set it to 2 gig just for the sake of this, um, these measurements. So uh, let's start from 10 meg to 2 gig, um, and then I'll turn on uh, marker in the middle, just, just to check the reading. So currently right now, as you can see, the return loss is about 0.9 dB. Sorry, the insertion loss. And uh, then we turn on another trace, uh, just to see the Smith chart. Just to make sure that uh, we are really at open when we say it's open. So again, turn on the marker. Um, then we change the format. So it's the S11. Let's make sure. So the marker is over here. Okay, so let's go to uh, Calibrate and Pod Extension. So we have this Auto Pod Extension. Just click that. And uh, because it's, uh, it's open ended cable, so just open it. It. So as you can see, if we are using auto port extensions, it's moving the plane um, from port 1 up to the end of here because it is actually looking for uh, the opening of it. Okay, So you can, you can see that um, the return loss is uh, 0.14. It changed from 0.9 if you remember. So if we turn it off, it's uh, 0 0.9, it's turning on. So this is where we, we supposed to get. Okay. So this uh, auto port extension. So we're going to make a comparison later. 
and uh, let's turn that off first and then we go to fixture so this is where you're going to use uh, setup for AFR auto fixture removal so we just go to cal fixtures auto fixture removal so because this is uh, open-ended single-ended and I only use one pot so it should be something like this and just click and just leave the rest uh, as it is right now uh, we can I, I can cover another um, video I can I can cre create another video just to cover the rest of the setup so just go to next and then we want to choose open so it's recommended to use short instead of open because um, short you have to put a, a standard so it's um, you know where is the plane the short plane but at open we normally just leave the the cable dangling um, and it might be right it might be wrong for the for the length of the signal uh, signal pin so um, but for our case again I do not have any uh, standard with me right now so I just leave it open as it is so next then at this step we just say measure and uh, leave it open and then measure so uh, for me I just ignore it for now um, so it's about right 3.76 if you look at uh, the previous one in the port extension it's about 3.75 ish okay so we just click next with that and then apply corrections okay now you can see that there's something wrong with here let's uh, exit it but it's still applying so you see that uh, there's a there's an unwanted tail here over this side so according to the help file uh, for this VNA, it's recommended to set the frequency um, for the stop frequency at least 10% more than what you want to measure. For example, I want to measure on my uh, device under test up to 2 gig. So it's recommended to put the stop frequency to additional 10%, 2.2 gig. Okay. So with that, let's turn this off again. And um, yeah. So if you go to here, yep, if you go to the port extension, this is a value that we have tested previously, 3.75, 3.76-ish. So let's go back to fixture. And before that, let's change the frequency span to 2.2. Uh, you can use the screen, 2.2 gig. Okay. And then we go back to cal, fixture, auto fixture removal. Again, it's the same thing. Um, just go to single ended one part for my case, open and then measure, measure, and it's 3.76, 3.75. Okay. Um, next, so apply corrections. So let's undo it, reapply. Okay. So I'm not so worried about this part because um, we, we, we plan to test the device under test up to 2 gig. We're going to change the frequency later. So with this, I'm going to say a uh, next, and uh, I'm going to save the fixture file, okay? Because we could, we can use that later. Um, so we just go to exit. Yes. So if we change the frequency back to two gig. Okay. Sorry. Two gig. So you can see that uh, in still as much um, uh, 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 a bigger dot in uh, auto uh, port extension. So this auto fixture removal is a smaller dot, and you can see that it's closer to zero. Okay. So with that, um, before I finish, um, so if you remember the file that we saved just now, so let's say we turned it off, and then you have the same setup. So instead of doing the same um, same auto fixture removal again, if you have the same setup, you can actually recall back the file. It's like the S2P the embedding. Okay, so we just click here. Let's say we um, do it. Right. So by default, if um, if you have not done uh, fixture removal uh, prior to this, this is this is how it look like when you turn on this fixture setup. And then we add on a block, uh, the ambit, because that's where the file we want to look at. And this is what we want. Um, it 
says this was here. Fixture removal. So it contains all the informations that we uh, did previously. So once you've done that, just click OK, apply fixture. So as you can see, it's the same um, value that we saw um, right after the auto fixture removal. So that's it. Um, yeah, just put in a comment if you have any questions and uh, glad to help. All right. Thanks for watching.